Hi everybody, welcome to WineExpedition.com. I'm Neil. Time for another weekday wine review. I'm here at my buddy Fernie's house, and he was kind enough to bring on a bottle of 2004 Clark Cladone Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa. Uh, if you follow the blog, if you look at our website at all, you've seen our webisodes that we shot at Clark Cladone with our host Tim. Uh, Clark Cladone is a, a vineyard that's near and dear to our hearts here at Wine Expedition. Uh, two of the nicest people we ever meet, Tom Clark and Lori Cladone, husband and wife team that uh, are behind the Clark Cladone name. Um, my partner Jeff and I went up to uh, scout the location before we shot the week before. Thought we were going to do an hour visit the vineyard. Uh, it was uh, Jeff and his wife and myself. Cut to 6 o'clock at night, the sun's going down. We're on our third bottle of wine and our third plate of cheese and uh, you know, sharing our life stories. Just the nicest people we'll ever meet. And so uh, we're always excited to, uh, to have a little Clark Cladone. And uh, when Fernando suggested that we open this tonight, I didn't uh, argue at all. <laughs> so this is the 2004 Clark Cladone. Uh, it's, it's not Napa Floor Cab. These guys have a, the, the actual vineyard property is uh, if you're on the Silverado Trail, you go up through Angwin on the back side looking up above the Pope Valley and it's uh, all hillside cab. Uh, small berries, concentrated fruit, and just a beautiful, beautiful cab. So this is the 2004. I'm not sure if I've had the 04, so let's check it out. Big nose. I mean, right off the bat, just the fruit is like like demanding to be, to be smelled. I mean, I, I didn't even get my nose into the glass and it's already like, whoa, there it is. Dark cherries, just a nice big, big nose. Just a, um, it's just an elegant wine. I mean, you know, there's plenty of cabs that you can find for $25 or $30 from Napa that are uh, nice, nice Cabernets, but this is a little more expensive and there's a reason for it. It's just an elegant wine, just layers. I mean, you taste the fruit, then you taste a little chocolate, a little tobacco, and then it finishes and it finishes and it finishes. It just goes on and goes on forever. I mean, absolutely. Reminds me when we were sitting on their porch mm -hmm. and uh, the river, you can hear the creek just kind of bubbling on the side. And I remember smelling the air when that mist came in yeah. late afternoon, just kind of like where we are now. The property, there's not actually a winery there. Uh, it's a small ranch style house that was built probably in the, I don't know, 30s or 40s very or 50s. 50s. Very 50s. So this little house on this piece of property, hillside cab, you know. You pull up with a dirt road. Uh, Lori gave us, gave us directions to go there. She said, okay, make a left, look for the school, the second mailbox, look for a dirt road. And it was literally like that. It was like we were up a dirt road, pulled up to the porch of their house, and they welcomed us into their home. That was the way it felt. And, and he's absolutely right. It, you know, as the sun started going down, the fog started creeping in, the, uh, the, the babbling brook next to, the, next to the house, and these people, you know, sat there and, and smiled and laughed and shared their wine with us. It was a wonderful experience. And, and he's right, having a taste of this wine right now kind of takes me back to that, to that. Uh, and honestly, I think he's probably got the cleanest vineyard I've ever seen. Yeah, very. The grounds are impeccable, impeccable. He, uh, he was a vineyard manager at St. Supery, if I'm not mistaken, for, for a few years before he decided to go out on his own. And uh, very, very smart wine man. Uh, Tom knows his stuff and it, you know what? It all comes down to what we're drinking right now. It, it shows. Absolutely. So, I think, you know what, here's the Tom. Here's a Tom, the Tom and Lori, Clark Cladone, 2004 Cab Sauvignon. If you get a chance to take a taste of this, make sure you do.